shoes and I was getting really mad because I couldn't find shoes that I wanted. We went to a shoe store and they only had four types of shoes that I wanted. See, I like wearing high top shoes. So, and they don't have a lot of those. And I could only find about four that had the style that I wanted that were even close to being like high tops. One was completely black. It was just all blacked out. And I usually wear black clothing. So I didn't want to do like a completely black shoe. And then they had like a black, red, and white one. But I personally don't like white shoes because they can get dirty very quickly. And then it was a black and white shoe, which was pretty okay. And then there was a green, black, and white shoe. <laughs> I don't think green went good with that. <laughs> the ones I have now are red and black, and they're really cool. The only reason that I wanted to get new ones was because there's a hole in them, and not just like a hole on the outside of the shoe. There's a hole, two holes in both my shoes, in the heel, and it's just like a divot, and it goes straight down, so every time I walk, my heel just like sinks into that hole, so that's why I wanted to get new ones, but unfortunately, I, I like the color blue, and they never have any blue shoes, it's always red, red's the most popular color, so I decided to try the black and white ones out, because I thought that would look pretty cool with my whole like black colored look like I wear black sweatpants and I usually wear like a black t-shirt with something on it so I thought I'd do like black and white as shoes only problem was they didn't have my size at all like not even close so I tried to wear a bigger size and it was just too big so then I went to another aisle and tried to get something similar but they didn't look as good and overall, they just didn't have my size and the ones that I wanted, and I was getting really mad. I even started to look in other sections, and I just couldn't find it. So after like an hour and a half of shoe shopping, my mother got shoes, so that was good. But we went home, and I decided to look up the exact same shoe that I have now online, but like a different color. And like all like the other brands are like you're gonna spend like a hundred to four hundred dollars but the ones i have are puma and they only range to like seventy dollars which is really good because i don't want to spend a hundred dollars on shoes i spent a hundred dollars on a monitor <laughs> the ones i have right now i think i got them for like sixty five dollars or something so the shoes that i have now are size nine but they were a bit big when I got them, so I just tied the shoelaces really tight. So now, I think I'm gonna order shoes online. They're black and white, the exact same I have now, but black and white instead of red and black. But I think I'm gonna order eight and a half instead, one size smaller. I'm gonna hope, I've never ordered any like shoes online before because I'm so afraid they're not gonna fit correctly and then I'll have to return them and stuff. But I think that's what I'm gonna do, maybe in like a couple of weeks, or maybe for Christmas or something. And then we just went out to dinner for the rest of the night. And then Saturday is when I went to a wedding. I went to my cousin's wedding, and it was amazing. The wedding started at 6, so that was um, a bit late. And it was like 30 minutes away from my house. And on the way there, we got stuck in a parade. But like, not actually in the parade. It was like everybody was lined up waiting for the parade to go down. But they hadn't yet blocked off the street. So we were driving down that street and everybody was like in their chairs and they were like waiting for the parade. And it was a lot of traffic around that area. So it took us a bit to get there. But we got there and it was fun. One thing I didn't like was the seating charts. I was, I was sat at a table with nobody that I knew. I, I wasn't sat with my parents, and I didn't like that because I didn't know anyone. <laughs> but the 
sitting charts were completely like fumbled like it was horrible throughout the entire wedding <laughs> I had my seat and then I got up to get food and somebody took my seat and then we were like asking people like who is this and they're like I don't know <laughs> so then other people started sitting there that weren't supposed to be sitting there so then I was stuck standing and then I started to not really feel well at all really nauseous and had a headache so I was like not about to eat like the main dish of the wedding like there was like the cocktail hour like the appetizers and then there was like the main course and it was like a buffet style and I looked at the food and it looked so good I don't really like fancy foods like um I'll just eat like french fries and stuff and this is the first wedding I've went to where they served chicken fingers and french fries. <laughs> and I hated it because I was nauseous and I didn't want to eat more and then like puke. I didn't want that. But I ended up going outside and it made me feel a lot better so I did end up eating. And there was all this amazing food. There was like four different types of pasta. A steak, I think, some sort of meat. And I filled my plate with french fries and mashed potatoes <laughs> mashed potatoes are my favorite food ever so i had to get some and they were incredible really glad that i ate and then we danced for like almost two hours i didn't dance i sat down and watched everyone else dance and recorded funny videos of them and then the dessert came out and the dessert was like a lot there was like so many cakes the wedding cake itself wasn't like like amazingly good looking it was really simple but i didn't get any of the wedding cake and i don't i didn't know anyone that got any of the wedding cake everyone just sort of went for like pastries and stuff i got two pastries and i, I don't know i didn't really like the cream that they had in the middle it kind of tasted funny so dessert was my least favorite food out of the whole wedding but apparently i didn't even go to like the ice cream and waffle station <laughs> like I guess that was more for like the kids because I saw a lot of kids having like ice cream cones and I don't know it's just not something I would have wanted but I wanted to go at least look at it but I didn't get to do that so that was my crazy weekend and I'm it's back to just normal days now anyone else that's younger would have been going back to school by now I am back to work now and I have to work all days this week usually I only work Monday, Tuesday, not Wednesday, and Thursday and Friday. Sometimes Monday, sometimes not. But my boss asked me to work all days this week because they're very busy. So yesterday was pretty boring. I just kind of sat there waiting for customers to come in and I watched a movie. But today was very hectic. I had to unbox a bunch of shirts and count them make sure that the correct sizes and the correct colors came and it was like a like 100 shirts like over 100 it had to be like on like over 200 it was a lot and i put two and two together and realized that one box and i realized that one box was a bunch of decals and numbers and the other box was a bunch of tank tops and i'm guessing that we're making basketball uniforms but today I had to unbox all of the tank tops, fold them, and like sort them by color and size and stuff. And I had to check off like to make sure that all the right sizes were ordered and stuff. There was a lot in bags and it was like, it was a lot of shirts. But it looked nice when it was all organized. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to press these shirts tomorrow, meaning like putting the numbers on them and stuff. I personally don't like working the press a lot because I get very nervous that I'm gonna put the numbers and stuff in the wrong slot and stuff and it's not gonna come out correctly. I'm gonna leave it on for too long. I'm not gonna peel it off right. Because once you don't peel it off right and it gets messed up, that's like a wasted shirt. And especially since they're exact and I don't know if my boss is gonna like, if they ordered extra shirts just in case one gets messed up. But I don't know, these were a lot of shirts too, of all different colors, it's not just like a ton of like blue tank tops, like they were a lot of different colors in both adult sizes and youth sizes. So I'm not really sure like if this is for basketball or if it's for like an organization or something, but it came 
Yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful night and I'll see you some other time.